Hey guys, I'm back with some more Hawken. Uh, finally wearing Beta 2, which is kind of nice. And so they've added a couple of new mechs. Uh, I'm going to be playing the Berserker this time. I'm going to I'm gonna show you exactly what Berserker does. Uh, so I've only had the opportunity to play with it a little bit. Luckily, um, there was, this is Beta 3 right now. The videos you've seen before were for Beta 2. And so the ones I'm showing you now are a little bit late. Like, this is, this is, uh, I didn't, I figured I wouldn't do, uh, a beta 2 one because they didn't reset anything, so you'd pretty much be seeing, seeing the same classes. Wait, don't run. Oh no. Someone's trying to kill me. Anyways, they made a lot of changes here. Uh, and I'm gonna roughly go over what they've done. So, the, um, my favorite class here is, is, uh, well, Sharpshooter received a bit of a, a gimp. Uh, but they seem to have reversed it, and so now they've actually like split up uh, classes into certain, uh, well, the, all the all the mech classes into like A, B, and C. And so I'm playing actually an A mech, and A mechs are very fast, and uh, they have a lot of speed except not a lot of fuel, so they can do very short movements, not a lot of health, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically all there is to them. Oh, I think I can go sneaking. Hit on them. And so, it's kind of interesting in a way because it's just kind of like I get to be a. a like, oh, we got this guy. Oh, couldn't run away from that. It's kind of interesting because they've reduced the speed of of some of the other classes, but uh, this this is basically the gotta go fast class, and I, I probably shouldn't be actually equipping this machine gun. And so there's there's actually a couple of changes. Um, I, I seem to be. I feel like I can jump higher uh, with my initial my initial jump. Like when I'm trying to go up, as you notice, I, I do this big leap when I start. Uh, but it's just the fuel is a huge restriction. So I, I think what you're what people are going to want to do is uh, later later on uh, when when they go through their upgrade tree uh, is basically to prefer things that give the player. Uh, more fuel, just so you don't run out. Yeah, let's see if we can attack this guy. No, don't run away. All right, let's let's go over down here for a minute. But anyways, um, it's kind of interesting what they've done. Um, I I don't know. There seems to be a lot of class overlap now. Uh. I don't know if I fully approve of this completely, uh, because it's just like you have, like if you haven't noticed, this is pretty much the same uh, loadout as you would be using with uh, uh, with the, with the assault class, and I, I do get like basically this time around like more weapons damage, so I'm, I'll use that now. Except I, he ran away from me. Oh, I almost killed him. So he's a heavy class. And so it, it seems it is kind of even, but it kind of just... To me, it doesn't make sense to pick more than one one or two classes anymore. It's just kind of like, pick something that you enjoy. And that guy I picked off pretty easily. And there's a couple of other changes, like, uh, for example, um, now my... Uh, if you notice, whenever I repair it, now tell, it gives me a... Uh, it now gives me my, my full health thing. Like, it tells me how much health I have remaining, which is kind of nice. And this guy's a Rocketeer. I can also now get some of the heavy classes, so I'll let you I'll let you kind of sample them before before the game actually comes out. Well, and as in, like, you kind of decide what you want to go for and unlock, you know, or if you want to stick to, you know, the classes I haven't done already. I, I figure that's a good idea. Um, so, uh, the items are now on cooldown, instead of having a limited amount, so you couldn't regenerate them pretty much like I thought. Got him. I feel like I'm kind of wasting my, uh... Uh, my, my special ability, which is like that, that weapon thing. Oh, he got him pretty good. The other thing I've noticed is that there's been actually a, a large boost of players actually working as a team in Team Deathmatch. I don't know if this is because it's a party system. I actually haven't looked. 
Uh, but I've had a couple games where like the entire, uh, well, like well, actually just one, <laughs> not a couple. Uh, I've, I've played one game before this, uh, not including this is for beta, for beta three that is. Um, I've uh, I've noticed that they were like working together as a team. There is there is voice chat now. Oh, we got him good. It's also more clear how much uh, experience he gets. But yeah, there's apparently a push to talk system uh, now in place. So okay, let's see if we can go with this guy. Let's be a jerk to this guy. Okay, I threw a grenade over. Let him miss his, all his grenades. Uh oh. We don't want to be in there. He's got that flat cannon of his. Oh, you don't ignore me. Get out of get back here. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's another guy, friend of mine. Oh, look at that. We're, we're all like working as a team here. Which is a rarity, actually. I feel, I feel like I'm actually in a team game. So those are the major differences. Just more class split up. Uh... It, it, but they didn't actually really design new weapons or abilities. It, they're kind of variations based upon what was already in the game. So you could you could you could choose something to more fine tune uh, what your playstyle is. Why does this guy hate me? So the the problem with this mech though is even though you're really fast, you can overheat rather uh, quickly. Uh, so it's, don't be afraid to kind of run out of battle sort of a mech. It's a little bit interesting. And I've also looked a little bit more at the tree and they have refined it a little bit better so that players uh, with uh, uh, all the upgrades won't necessarily be the most powerful. You got you do have to make a few tactical decisions. It seems that that's the case. But you know, it's it's not the perfect game quite as of yet. There's still a couple of problems with it uh, as, as far as my opinion goes. So, but I'll go over, I'll go over all that. Why does that guy not want to, okay, whatever. I'm going to just repair here quickly. I'm hearing a lot of noise. It sounds like there's like a, yeah, I think that's the goss I'm hearing. There's a goss in this. Oh, cool, I got this guy. Whenever I see incoming, I, I kind of panic. I'm just like, oh, got to run away. It's my class's ability, <laughs> but I, I like you know I like Berserker mostly because it's speed and damage combined. Because you basically get, as I said, the assault uh, mech loadout uh, without the heat, that heat just uh, thing ability. So you don't get to quite uh, you don't, you don't get to quite use your abilities all you want and just go, hey, I'm going to use the heat for prolonged uh, whatever it is. No, I think I think the idea is to close in that distance so you do not miss those shots. And, uh, I don't know. It's it's whatever your your, your preferred play style is. Um, another thing that they did was they uh, they merged uh, what's it call it? Um, the, uh, the support and defensive items. So, I can't like have like a hologram and an EMP missile anymore or some shit like that or like the healing thing and uh, uh, whatever else is in that tree like some, some of those radar things so it's a little different now um, yeah, this the max height is still in effect so it's kind of, it feels a little weird at times I wish I took the longer range on I don't know why I didn't Okay, uh oh Rob them with their kill. Just go repair. Uh oh. Ah, uh -huh, fucking asshole. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be able to stay up there for so long. Oh, he's a level 4 assault. I'm like, I'm still level 0. That's the other thing I've noticed is that, uh, well, I have a level 60 berserker on my team. Um, the matchmaking doesn't appear to work very well, actually. Uh, I, I've, the first game I played out, we were all level ones against like a, a group of people working clearly as a team. We're like level four to six or something. Uh, all I know is that they didn't have any level zeros and that's all we had, pretty much. So it was, it was a little, uh, I was kind of like, eh. But as I said, if there's a party system, you can just go invite your friends and uh, play some Hawken, you know. Uh, if you have any friends, I'll be your friend. 
at add me. I'm Mike Lad at Hawken.com. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Let's go. Make trouble for this guy. Ah, oh, okay, I almost killed me. I don't see as many people using EMP. I haven't, I haven't seen one person using it, so maybe it got gimped. I'm not sure if it did, because I remember that was one of my complaints. This is, I think, the, the, the third time I've spawned, and I haven't actually equipped that, that long range weapon that I want to. Alright, let's see if we can close in the distance. Uh, is this guy lagging? What the hell's going on? He had like this special ability of just derping around. That was his thing. Um, there's not- and also the fonts and graphics are a little bit more refined, I, I have to mention as well. Uh oh. I want no part in that. Got him. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. It's not my fight. I, I still, I'm still playing this very much as a defensive guy. I think the Berserker is definitely a class I would play even up to the final game. Because he's just, uh... Oh, by the way, open, open, open beta does come out uh, early December or mid-December. Early mid, to say that much. Holy shit. Run! Damn it! No fuel! <laughs> Dude, I got him! He has a revenge kill! <laughs> That's great. I didn't expect that. Alright, let's, let's use this one. My missile fired at him at the same time as, uh, as he killed me, which is really nice. Yeah, that, that fuel is a huge restriction on me. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I will have no part in you. It, it looks to me like they have a sharpshooter on their team. Or no, it's a rocketeer. Or just rocketeers in one assault. I, I will be showing out the rocketeer class. Like, I, I, I was a little bit sad I didn't have the opportunity to... Uh, they have the high ground. It's not good for us. You know, it's this is weirdly a, a, a like more positioning game than I thought it would be because I've been playing a lot of Mech Warrior online. And now I have this one. Oh god! Oh what? Oh, someone got him. Well, that was lucky for me. Oh, this guy did. Uh, proper. Eh, yeah, that guy's that guy's my buddy now. I'll say he's a kill stealing whore, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is he a sharpshooter? Uh, no, he would be assault. That was, that missile barrage is ridiculous. All right, let's get the hell out of here. It's always nice to rob someone of their kill, their hard-earned kill. Because he had me there. Also, there was no cover there, so that was a really bad place for me to be fighting in. Oh, oh, looks like the game's over. Oh, we won. Nice. So I guess I'll get to show you the new uh, exit, uh, exit screen. So here's my mech, and so I'm, I'm first place. So it kind of just shows everybody's mech, and I can also just get rid of this thing. Screw the game chat. And so the most deaths, so you can see the people who died the most. No, we want to see the people who died the most. And most assists. Okay, so then you have your scoreboard. Uh, obviously, Mike is first place, as he always is. You know. um, then you get points based upon if you win, uh, how much time you were in the game, and your placement in the match. So I got about roughly 105 Hawken points and uh, 1,500 experience from this, which is like, I, I hate the disproportionate like feeling of this because you know you see the big number, you're like, oh man, I got this many Hawken points. Oh no, no, it's only 105 Hawken points. Shit, kind of thing. 
I'm gonna go over the um, the, the buying stuff a little later. Uh, and then here's my progression. Ooh, I got to level one, hooray. And my one of my primers is good. And then I can see some of my stats. Uh, this is pretty much the same as the last game. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. So let's go play some Uptown. It's probably, um, these. you probably have seen these uh, maps, but you know. Oh well. Uh, oh, we got a new player here. Cool. Come on, Breaker M. We can do this. We've got this, man. All right. Uh, looks like we're starting now. Uh, I took a second to get started, but uh, people are actually joining, and so we're going to go back to my Berserker class. Take that assault rifle primary, and let's go. I hear, though, at the max level, you can swap out one of your weapons, uh, one of your primaries, again, new alternate or something like that, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so how is the... Well, I'm now against that uh, Haze for Peace guy, uh, but I did better than him last game, I think, so... Or maybe he uh, joined late, who knows. We'll see how much uh, how much of a difference the leveling makes. Oh. Eh, it may make a difference, but he seems actually good at the game. Okay, he's just standing there? Alright. I've got my kill, it's time for me to stand still over my, the, the desecrated corpse. Uh, I got something down here. Wow. That, that took a lot of hits to, to kill him, weirdly enough. I, I wasn't actually expecting him to have that much health. But he was missing a lot of his shots. He was a bruiser. Oh, that's right. Bruisers have this ability to reduce incoming damage. That's why. Uh, it's something that's new. Oh, and also I can ping, ping guys, which I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with that. This guy is not seeing enemies, so he should be pinging out. Because I was just about to go help him. Uh, maybe I should be here. The low fuel is a serious, serious problem. Yeah, he keeps pressing Q on stuff. See, what you're supposed to do is do that. And then and then it tells all your, your teammates where the enemy is. I mean, I've, I figured that out already. Oh. Uh, I don't think I should be crowding into the, in with that crowd. Alright, and can we make it up here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> so much for that. Oh, fuel. So there's, I have two fuel gauges, by the way. If you didn't see, it's just above my... Uh, you see, I have a countdown timer for my grenade coming back. And I also have uh, fuel. I haven't seen much action. I'm kind of sad. This is a really large map. Alright. Have you seen them? Or are you just pressing Q by... I think you're tapping Q by... Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, let's go and uh, just repair real quick. Just to touch up. I think he's just spamming the button. I think he's just learned how to how to sight enemies. Oh, did I hurt myself? Alright. Now I'm gonna repair. Can you can actually hurt me over here? Oh well. All right, let's let's go help our teammate over there. Uh oh. This, sh this kill should not go to waste, you know. There you go. That's use that's using your jetpacks to the most. Oh what? What are you doing here? I saw red. Yeah, you, you're running away from this guy. It's not cool, man. And I, I could have sworn I saw. Oh, he's a grenader. 
Oh, I, I saw a grenade fly at me, and you know that's one of my abilities. So, and I know how I know how devastating it can be. So that's one of the things they do have is they have a heavy grenader class. They have a heavy gr grenader class now, which is kind of you know. I, I honestly, there's something that there's there's always something to suit your playstyle. There's a sniping mech. Uh, there's a couple of heavy mechs. Um, I don't know quite how the heavy me mechs play. I have played them before, but this is a long time ago. So, uh, but as I said, I will be trying and making it so I have every class. So when the game comes out, or if you're just really bored at Thanksgiving right now, and all right, that's a really terrible place for me to be. 